Oh, bullshit. That's my sexy looking car. Get some light up in here. Raging Rob is back. Hold on, let me clean my camera. I know I had one comment that said clean my camera before I turn it on. But I just noticed the damn lens was dirty. Okay, we're good. This goes to all the drug problems we have in Phoenix. Phoenix is only three hours from the Mexican border. Not like my old town of Detroit, where we're three days from the Mexican border. Phoenix has got hit hard with the damn problems, the drug cartels and the problems with the drug war in Mexico that overflowed into the United States. Phoenix got hit pretty hard with that shit. We have so many damn drop houses down here. We're finding drop houses down here right and left. There are so many drug addicts out there. It's... God. It's unbelievable. Well, this goes to all these tweakers and drug addicts. I've had... Tonight's been something else. Last night I worked like... I came in at like... 9.30, went home at like 5 a.m., made 120 bucks. Tonight, I came in like 8 o'clock. It's 3.53 a.m. Pacific time. And I cannot make fucking jack shit and balls tonight for fucking dick and money. I cannot fucking make any fucking money tonight. For those of you who don't know, look at my previous videos, I am a taxi driver. Yes, it ain't the best job in the world, but I love my job. I've had so many fucking tweakers and drug addicts in my, in my car tonight, it's been unbelievable. A few days ago, a couple, couple weeks ago, I did a video about Native Americans and alcohol. Nothing against Native Americans, I'm not racist. But they left a shit mess in my car. Jack-in-the-box shit. Big fucking mess they left in my car. If you order a taxi, please clean up after yourself. I don't want to clean up your crystal meth and ecstasy pills. Which I found in the back seat of my car. I took them, I smashed them on the ground. I want nothing to do with that crap. Please... You want to do that shit, that's your own business. You want to be a drug addict, that's your own, that's your, that's your business. You want to be a fuckhead, that's your business. But please don't drop that ecstasy and crystal meth and marijuana. Shit, one time I found a coke thing. Heroin needle. Please don't drop stuff like that in my car. That's, I don't like finding stuff like that. Please don't. Please clean up by for yourself. That's all, I, please be respectful. Okay? Oh God, I've had so many freaking... I've had seven calls tonight that were a... that canceled. Seven! For those of you who live down here in the valley, I don't really like to use business names, but I think I can make an exception here. We got a hospital down here called John C. Lincoln, over on Dunlap Avenue. Well, as you know, the avenues that go east and west, even numbers are on the north side of the road, odd numbers on the south side of the road. The avenues that go north and south, 
even numbers, west side of the road, odd numbers, east side of the road. I got an address that said Dollar Tree. I got a dispatch that said Dollar Tree, 232 East Dunlap Avenue. Immediately, I'm like, I don't think so. I know the address for the hospital, and that's, there ain't no damn Dollar Tree over there. So I get over there, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? How do you mix up a Dollar Tree? I mean, it's fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. There isn't a Dollar Tree open this late. How do you mix that up with the fucking hospital? I'm not scratching my head, I'm scratching my ass on this one. This is some of the shit that I gotta put up with. This is why I love my job. Thank God for that. I've had so many goofballs in my car tonight, it's been unimpossible. I don't have a word for it. Impossible. Unbelievable. Insane in the brain. I was offered another sales job today by another guy I picked up. I asked him, well, what kind of money you make? Oh, I made $17,000 today. I'm like, really? $17,000? And you're living in an apartment that's 350 bucks a month? A shithole? In the middle of the projects? And you look like you haven't took a bath in three weeks? And your clothes look like they fucking... I'm not trying to make fun of Walmart. Because I shop at Walmart, but they look worse than that. Like you got them out of a garbage can or something. $17,000 a day. I'd at least get out of my apartment and have a home in Scottsdale. I don't think I'm going to give this call a guy. I don't, I don't think I'm going to give this guy a call back. Something doesn't seem right here. $17,000 a day. Son of a bitch. Something doesn't seem right. Oh, God, what else? Oh, man, tonight's so fucked up. Just trying to think here. I know I got more. There's something else. I just couldn't remember what I was going to say. What the hell was it? What I was going to... I just thought of something to say. I forgot what it was. There's something else that was going on. the hell was it? I don't know. I forgot now. Maybe I'm on drugs. No, I'm not. Fucking people. Drug addicts. Clean up at, clean the mess up out of my car. Don't leave your pills and crystal meth in my car. Oh yeah, this, this is what I thought of. Periodically I get messages on my computer and my taxi. It says, driver that picked up so-and-so on Mill Avenue or so-and-so at this location or this location. Passenger left this and that. I'm thinking, okay, sometimes it says cell phone, which is understandable. It falls out of your pocket. Sometimes it says ID. I guess that's understandable. I mean, these drunks, they don't look at... Every time I'm in a taxi, I, I barely order taxis myself, but if I do, I check the damn seat to make sure I didn't drop anything before I get out of my car. There was one time, a message came up and said, Driver, the passenger left groceries in the car. In the trunk. How do you forget groceries in the trunk? There's one message that came up and said, driver, passenger left crutches in the car. I'm like, what? It makes you wonder if he broke his leg or not, or how the hell did he break his leg or knee or whatever the hell's wrong with him.
This is Phoenix, this ain't Detroit. Back in Detroit we had the slum back there I used to live in. But this is Phoenix. I, I love Phoenix. But we got a big fucking drug problem down here. No wonder the people down here are really stupid. God, I've never seen so much drugs and shit happen down here. Oh. I need to get back to work. I'm probably still got three hours left. It's 4 or 1 a.m. I'm probably going to make nothing. Jesus. I'm surprised my battery didn't die on my video camera yet. Well, I'll be in Vegas in two weeks. To visit my father. So, stay up, stay tuned. I'm gonna have some Las Vegas photos, videos, I mean, uploaded on my channel with pretty soon. So, stay up, stay tuned.